not something you want to think about, but an elderly father or mother dropped off at a gas, gas station all alone. And that is exactly what happened to an 82-year-old Orlando grandfather while in the care of Access Links. Channel 9's Sierra Putman learned it happened while that man was riding in a taxi, and that ride was part of Links' new joint venture with taxi and ride-sharing companies to cut costs. Lynx expects to save just under a million dollars with this new approach and doesn't plan to get rid of it. But after this case, the Central Florida Regional Transportation Authority toured me. It's taking a closer look at which clients are put in taxis and ride shares. I think Access Links really dropped the ball. Jeffrey Flagg shared these images from surveillance video taken on February 8th. The time of day is off, but you see a cab pull up to his father's nursing home at 410. His father is a dementia and dialysis patient. He reportedly told the driver he wanted to go to his sister's. After 31 seconds, the driver takes off. Later, the 82-year-old was found by EMTs at this Wawa on Curry Ford Road. Dropped him off. No money, no phone, <laughs> has no idea where he is, and left him. You know, it just made me cry. Flag says he thought his father was getting picked up in one of these vans, not realizing Access Links rolled out a program in December, adding mirrors and lift to the fleet. Well, he was listening to the customer, and that was where the mix-up was. Chief Operating Officer Thomas Stringer Jr. says the driver did not follow protocol, but says this was an anomaly. Since, he says, Links updated Mr. Flag's file. But the son worries this could happen to someone else. You know, as a lot of these people need additional assistance. Why did you think a taxi or a lift would be a safe mode of transportation for them? Well, we've been using taxis to supplement our service for a while. It also cuts costs. Link says a van ride costs $37 a trip compared to $16 for a cab or ride share. In an effort to cut cost, you you definitely put the patients at risk. This is a prime example of somebody that got put in your care and a cab driver with no training, I'm sure, just picked him up and dropped him off. This 70-page contract is for the company that oversees the typical Access Links van drivers. That requires them to undergo eight hours of sensitivity training. However, the original contract with mirrors and lift doesn't require that. The mayor's contract does require it to develop an ongoing comprehensive safety program, but that's not in the lift contract. It has to be part of the contract, so I'm going to go through and make sure that that's in there because that is a requirement. Out of necessity, Flag says his father is still riding access links. So we don't want to do any knee-jerk, you know, litigious type of thing just because, uh, but this is something that should not happen to anyone else. As well as reviewing the training requirements in its contracts, Stringer says clients can opt out of using TNCs, but stresses this is a good deal for some clients. They get a personal ride without the hassle that comes with being in a van. Sierra Putman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.